Hey guys, happy Monday. It's time for another outfit of the week. So I just can't forget my nails done after work. That's why I'm wearing flip flops, but I actually wore my Sam Edelman patent loafers today. And it's funny because these are actually patent leather as well, these flip flops, these Tory Burch flip flops. They're their basic Miller flip flops. And then my uh, pants are from Zara. These are the high waist ones that I showed you guys in my last Zara haul that I did. Well, by the time this video comes out, I will have done another one recently, so the one before the one that you already saw. So um, for my top, I'm wearing this striped Banana Republic top that's short sleeves. It's a mock neck, as you can see, black and white stripes. And then I'm wearing my J. Crew blazer that I got from a Nordstrom anniversary sale. I love this blazer. I know a lot of you got this blazer too. I actually got my arms shortened on this blazer so you can see my jewelry a lot more, especially like when I'm sitting down typing everything. So I thought that was really good. And I just wore my everyday tote, my giant tote that I just put everything in. That's really great for the work week. And that's it, today's outfit was really simple. It was basic black and white with a pop of color, which is really nice. And then of course the pattern of the accents, which I love, cause I told, you guys know how much I love these loafers cause I have them in so many colors and so many of you have them now too. So that's it for today's look. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So I don't have a clip for Tuesday because I work from home and I didn't even change out of my pajamas to be honest. But today's Wednesday and it was kind of gloomy today but it was pretty warm. I think it went up to like 71 today. So I decided to wear something a little bit more like spring. I'm wearing this black and white coordinated set that I got from Target a while ago. I think I might have got it last summer. I've had it for a very long time so I doubt that it's still available. But who I wear from Target makes pretty good clothes. Like they have a lot of cute things. They're not exactly like investment pieces. I don't think I'm gonna have this set forever, but it's pretty well made, so I'll probably have it for years, actually. So it's just some wide leg pants and a long sleeve top, a button up shirt, classic. I really love the set. I really got this in mind to wear with these platform sneakers. I love these sneakers. I got these from Nordstrom. They're by a brand called Paolo, San Paolo or something like that. I'll link it in the description box because I recently got the same sneakers in another color. But they haven't come yet, so I don't know if I'm gonna like them, but we'll see. And of course, I'll show you guys. And then for my blazer, this is just my J. Crew blazer that I got from the Nordstrom anniversary sale a while back. I know a lot of you have this blazer. And that's it, that's today's look. I was really comfortable in this outfit. Sneakers, of course, you cannot go wrong with sneakers. But I really like that my pants covered the sneaker in a way that it looks like, like you're not sure if I have on a heel or what, but you can tell I have on a sneaker if you're looking, you know? But it gives me the height and I feel really put together and I like that a lot. It was pretty humid today, so my hair actually just kind of like freaked out. I just threw it in a ponytail. My sunglasses are some vintage sunglasses that I got from a, a vintage sh sort of hybrid shop in my area. They sell plants, they sell um, vintage jewelry and sunglasses. And I think they have clothes too. They had like a bunch of stuff, it was kind of strange, but um, these were like 50 bucks. I got them on sale. And that's it. That's today's outfit. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Thursday. So I just got in from work. It's actually really hot today. It was like 72 degrees, I think. It was really nice. The sun finally came out, but it was a little muggy because of the rain, so it was a little humid. So I had to put my hair up in a bun. And then I'm wearing this Super cute co set that I got from H&M a while back. It's actually really nice quality. I was getting a lot of compliments today and I feel like it looks way more expensive than it really was. I think the whole thing might have been 50 bucks or 60 bucks, but this was a while ago. Hopefully they'll bring some more back for the summer. I love coordinated sets. And then I paired it with my Sam Edelman pumps. I love these pumps, you guys are so comfortable. I walked in the mall today with them, like it's just easy. I don't have to worry about my feet hurting when I wear these. So I think these are really perfect for work. And then again, I just wore my toe. So that's it. That was today's look and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm back because I wanted to show you a couple of new items that I got today. I actually showed you guys that I got something from Netta Porter. If you follow my Instagram, then you got a little teaser and I got a couple of tops from Netta Porter. Actually, it's the same top, but I got it in two different sizes. It's this top that I've been seeing a lot all over Instagram, all over the internet, and I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. It's a muscle t-shirt, but it has shoulder pads, and I thought it was really cute because I really like the idea of creating more of an hourglass shape, and a couple of my blazers that I got from Zara have the shoulder pads as well, so I'm really into that trend. 
that whole 90s vibe is back and I really like it. So I decided to get pick this up from the Frankie shop. Well, I didn't get this one from the Frankie shop, excuse me. The one on the Frankie shop's website is sold out. It was the plain white one. So I saw that they had this version that has We Need to Talk right here. They had this version um, as an exclusive for Netta Porter or Netta Porte, excuse me. They had it for an International Women's Day. It was like a special edition. So I saw they had it, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get it because the one on the Frankie shop has been sold out for forever. And I never catch it. So I was like, let me just try it. So I got it in two sizes. Now this size that I'm wearing is the medium. And then I also got it in large because I wasn't sure how it was gonna run. But honestly, I really don't feel like it's worth the hype. I think it's really cute if maybe you're a petite person. I, I mean, I'm not really sure because the people that have seen it on, it looks really cute on them and they are on the more slim side. But I do believe that this would have been a flattering style on me had I was had I been able to get the correct size. I think I would have gotten a small, even though it probably doesn't look too oversized to you guys. Here on the top, because it is kind of big, I feel like the shoulder pads just move around. You know what I mean? Like it just kind of does its own thing and I don't really like that. So I think I might have found a dupe. It's not an exact dupe, but it's very similar. And I mean, they didn't invent this cut. You know what I'm saying? I found one at Zara. So I'm gonna get that one and show you guys probably in a future video because I have to order it. The Zara's near me don't have it. But this is how it looks. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm not gonna like all the way tuck it in because I just don't feel like it. But now you can just see like the vibe I was going for. It looks pretty cute with these wide leg pants. If it fit me in the way that I envisioned it, I feel like it would have been really cute with this whole outfit. I feel like it's not bad right now, but it's not exactly what I wanted. So I'm gonna try out the Zara version and see. And if you guys have seen this style anywhere else online, please leave it in the comments and let me know because I really do love it. And I saw that they had a version like this at Nasty Gal, but I missed it, it sold out. So I didn't get a chance to see it or try it or order it or anything like that. But then I got a new item today at Zara. Well, I actually got two things. So I got these wide leg pants, which I hope some of you will try out because when I did one of my workwear hauls, I can't remember which styling video I did, but I styled a pair of black wide leg trousers that I got from Nordstrom, which are sold out. So if you're interested, you should try these out. These are really nice. They are a different material, but more appropriate for the summertime because they're not as heavy. And I think they're really flattering. Very nice and high. I won't have to get them tailored and I don't have to sew the pocket shut or anything like that. They don't pucker too much. I think the fit is really flattering. So I love that. And then I got another bodysuit. I told you guys I was gonna pick up the bodysuit that I showed you in my last Zara haul. I was also gonna get it in black because I have it in beige as well. And I'm thinking about getting the white, but I just feel like the white's gonna get so dirty so quickly, so I don't know, but I got this as well. And it might look really cute with these white leg pants too. But that's it, you guys. I just quickly wanted to show you a couple of new pieces that I got. And like I said, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Friday. So today was a casual Friday. I just decided to wear this H&M sweatshirt and my light blue Gap jeans. These are similar to the ones I wear all the time with the button fly. They're a little bit lighter wash and they're cropped and they look super cute with my white Puma sneakers. These have a nice cushion so they're nice and bouncy. I don't know if you guys can see Gizmo in the shot but he always walks into the shot like as I'm filming. It's like he knows the camera's on. But anyway, that's it. That's my casual Friday outfit and then I just threw on my everyday tote. This is now my work bag, because I wear it every day pretty much. I wore it this entire week. It's just easy to throw everything in here. So this is a recommend. If you guys can get your hands on this tote, I would say get it. I haven't seen it anymore, and when I try to find it online to link it, it's sold out when I finally do find it. So if you guys can find it, leave it in the comments and let me know. I'm sure other people might be looking for it as well. And that's it. Before I go, I wanted to share some info with you guys. Things have changed a little bit. So due to the coronavirus, I will be working from home for the next few weeks so that means I'm going to do pre-recorded outfits of the week um, I'm not gonna be able to do them day by day because I'm probably not gonna be going anywhere for a little bit but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up and if things change and I do go back into the office or I go out and I have a different outfit from what I've prepared ahead of time I'll show you guys so if anything happens I'll let you guys know and leave it in the comments and let me know if anything has change for you like has the coronavirus affected you guys in any kind of way let me know in the comments i hope everybody's doing okay i've seen a lot of things online that are actually really scary and i know that a lot of supermarkets are running low on supplies like food and things like that so i hope all of you guys are doing okay and i'm sending lots of love that's it for this outfit of the week i'll pick my outfits for next week's video so you guys will see some cute looks and a lot of you still might have to go into the office. And even if you don't, these videos are gonna act as inspiration for when everything goes back to normal. I've also been getting a lot of feedback from you guys on Instagram, telling me that you bought certain items that I'm recommending, 
and you guys tell me all the time that you love this and you hope I'm getting credit for the for referring you guys to a certain product and everything like that. If there's a company that you guys are interested in me working with or someone you know that you're interested in a collaboration with, then you guys can tag me underneath that company's Instagram account or maybe like a PR person from that company. If you know them, you can tag me and let them know that you're interested in seeing their products with me or some sort of a collaboration, something like that. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's any companies that you're interested in me reviewing or talking about more on my channel. Leave everything in the comments. Also check my description box because I'm gonna have a link to my Instagram account, a link to my Pinterest, and I'm also gonna have some exclusive things on Pinterest that you can only find on Pinterest. I'm gonna have a lot of stuff that I share on my Instagram and in my YouTube channel, but you can also see things that you might not find anywhere else, only on Pinterest. So check there. I'm gonna have all the links in my description box. If you're interested in joining my Facebook group, I'll have that link in the description box as well. Thank you to everybody who's joined my Facebook group, everybody who's participating and commenting and posting their pictures. It's been really great. I appreciate you guys so much. And don't forget, you can still shop the closet sale. It's not going anywhere. I'll leave that link in the description box as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, actually, one more thing, you guys, before I go. I want to tell you just like a teeny little bit about my accessories because you guys do ask me about them. And I got a comment asking about uh, my my jewelry. Did I get anything from Majuri? It's a company called Majuri. And I actually did get a couple of items from them. And that's a company that you guys can tag me on Instagram under too if they, and let them know like, hey, I want you to um work with Ashley. I want to see some collaborations with Park Avenue. Let them know on their Instagram account. But let me just show you like some close-ups of my jewelry so I can tell you guys a little bit about it. So my pinky ring is from David Yearman. My watch is Movado. I have this, my um, pointed finger ring I got from Majeri. It's their, from their croissant collection. And then I also have a bracelet from their croissant collection. My bangles are two of them from David Yearman. And then one of them is from Tory Burch. I treat my jewelry the same way I treat my clothes. I like high end, low end. I would prefer it when I'm like looking at more affordable jewelry for it to be like gold plated or have some sort of a coating that keeps it from turning a color because it is annoying to have to keep buying something over and over. And let me tell you guys, this Tory Burch bracelet I've had for so many years and I've never had any problems with it. So I would recommend this one. I know they're still selling them at the outlets as of, well, as of last summer, I knew for sure. And I feel like these they always have. So check your Tory Burch outlets because these are really great to mix in with your like real gold jewelry and nobody's gonna know. And even if they did, I mean like you can't tell, you know what I mean? And it's a nice way to add a little bit more to your arm party and really beef it up. And the same with Majuri. This stuff is 14 karat gold plated. So it's not gold all the way through, but it's nice and affordable and you can mix that in with your, with your jewelry as well. So if you have just a couple of like real, like expensive gold pieces, or if you prefer silver, then it's even better because you can, you have no problems with the colors as far as like yellow gold, you might be able to tell more when something is not real gold because it's super yellow versus real yellow gold, which is not as yellow. And I mean, you know, it's up to you, but I like to be able to mix and match and add a bunch of things and have a variety, but I still want quality pieces. So even when I'm picking my um, fashion jewelry, I make sure that I'm picking quality pieces. Now for my earrings, my earrings are really, really old. I've had these for 12 plus years. I couldn't even tell you guys. I don't even remember when I got them. I think they were a gift from my mom when I was a kid. I don't even remember. But I had them for so many years and I actually fell out of love with them because I had a thing where I hated small hoop earrings. But now I'm into small earrings, big earrings, all kind of earrings. I love jewelry in general. My ear cuffs, they're from Louis Vuitton. They come in a set of two. I was obsessed with these when I saw them and I went to the store and they had them so I was really happy. They also come in silver and they have a little Louis Vuitton monogram on them. They're not like obnoxious or in your face or anything like that. So I love to add them when I'm going to work or with any outfit really because they're just really fun but they're not too much. I really like those a lot. And you could also wear them on your ear lobe. So they don't have to be an ear cuff. They can be an actual earring if you don't mind clip ones because when I wear clip ones on my ear lobe it pinches after a while and I don't like that. But they feel pretty good up here. I don't have any issues. So if you're okay with the clip on earring then you can get with these. But I would say check those out. If they still have them, I'll link them in the description box because I've had them for a little while now. But I don't think I ever like shared it with you guys. I'm not sure. So that's it for everything. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.